There is a silent threat in our water supply. It's called PFAS. There's an increasing concern about PFAS from both a public health and a regulatory compliance standpoint. PFAS is currently in more than 98% of the population and is linked to several health complications. Regulations are being adopted around the country requiring PFAS removal from our water supply, and those local requirements are more restrictive than the national EPA standards. While these are some frightening facts, we have good news. Mitigation and removal approaches are available to address these concerns. So let's start from the beginning. What is PFAS and where is it? PFOA and PFOS, which are types of PFAS, were created in the 1930s and during the past nine decades, PFAS contaminants have spread into groundwater aquifers throughout the country. There are many sources of PFAS, including Teflon, factories, firefighting facilities, and man-made products such as carpets, cleaning agents, and other stain-resistant materials. Today, many of our water sources are contaminated with PFAS, and most conventional water treatment processes are ineffective at removing PFAS from that water supply. You may be asking yourself, why does this matter to me? PFAS is in our drinking water, in our food, and now in our bodies. It has been clearly linked to serious health impacts in humans. In May 2016, the U.S. EPA invoked stricter limits for the removal of PFAS from our water supply. Certain states have taken further steps by implementing even more stringent requirements, but it's only a matter of time before all states will be held to a higher standard. Not dealing with PFAS removal introduces liabilities for municipal agencies, real estate development, military bases, airports, public drinking water systems, and wastewater reclamation facilities, just to name a few. These liabilities are only going to broaden as we learn more about the health hazards and other impacts of PFAS. Kimley Horn is a leading consultant for mitigation of PFAS risks. There are three industry workhorse treatment methods for PFAS removal from water. Granular activated carbon, or GAC, ion exchange, and membrane technologies. Each option has pros and cons. For example, GAC offers an excellent removal of PFAS as well as other chemicals and has historically been the primary treatment method of PFAS removal, but it can be less effective for short-chain compounds and can have a relatively high annual maintenance cost compared to other options. Ion exchange requires a smaller infrastructure footprint and is becoming a preferred method of removal. It can have lower life cycle costs but higher initial capital cost. Membrane technologies have demonstrated the most thorough removal of all types of PFAS, including short-chain PFAS compounds, but it's often the most expensive method for removal due to its energy demand and waste disposal requirements. While these three primary treatment methods may be the current industry standards, their application for PFAS removal is not straightforward. Municipalities and governments around the country are trying to understand the implications of PFAS and which technologies best fit their needs. A combination of the treatment processes can be the optimal approach. Kimley Horn has pioneered the use of hybrid treatment methods customized to each unique situation and designed to optimize operational costs while still achieving your treatment objectives. There are solutions. And Kimley Horn has designed one of the first and largest operating PFAS removal systems in the nation. This site was particularly complicated because of its challenging water quality sources, but after consulting with our client about current technology options and their implementation needs, we piloted and pioneered a full-scale hybrid system of ion exchange and GAC media to maximize not only PFAS removal, but also the life cycle costs of their treatment system. We're happy to report that the system is performing well beyond expectations and has exceeded removal goals. The pure ion exchange system, which was tested against other options as part of the pilot, has emerged as the best solution for this site. Including pilot testing, design, permitting, construction, and commissioning, Kimley Horn delivered the project in 18 months. 
the plant currently treats up to 8 million gallons per day and removes PFAS to non-detect levels. Kimley Horn can help you find the solution which best fits your needs, budget, and operations because we have real-world experience selecting and implementing PFAS removal systems. Our PFAS specialists around the country are ready to dive in and bring these solutions to you. Visit kimley-horn.com slash PFAS to get started.